What's going on guys? Commando Santa here and welcome back to Buffalo Valley. So today we are working on uh, the station for our unnamed coaster. I know, I haven't made a name for it yet. I apologize for that. But I've, I've gotten so many great ideas for names and I just haven't had time to go through them and actually think of something and kind of like take what you guys have or like pick one of your guys stuff. So I apologize for that. So the name pool is still open if you guys want to still shoot some names out here. Um, I'll get into later what I figured out for a general theme if you guys want. And maybe we can start making a name off that. Um, yeah, so the name pool is still open for those of you who want to name this ride. I'd, I'd absolutely love that. So, so make sure to comment with a name idea. Uh, the other thing that, based off last episode, was um, I kind of wanted to color the track. I, I needed some suggestions for track colors. And I think the general consensus was, I mean, there's a few outliers, as per every data recording, there's always outliers, uh, was going to be brown or dark gray uh, supports with green track. And that's pretty much the general consensus winner. Uh, and I kind of liked it. Um, it doesn't really show right now. I think in the cinematics, I'll definitely show the, the final color scheme. Uh, I built this before I picked the color scheme, so yeah. So I apologize for that. It's going to be red for the entirety of this video until we do the color scheme. So yeah, so I think pretty much uh, brown. I think I actually went with like a like a mix between brown and gray supports, and then um, and then green track. That was pretty much the general winner. I I actually think it's it's very sharp. It's really cool, and it really fits in to like the canyon area. And oh my gosh, I just hit the microphone. <laughs> I apologize for that if I ruined your ears. But yeah, in the canyon and everything, it looks really cool. And even out and back here, it's, it's even cooler. Um, I also modified the track a little bit. For those of you who missed it, I actually started streaming on Twitch. Uh, I'll definitely have the information in the description if you guys are interested in that. I'm going to try and do streaming at least once a week uh, between this and my other project. Um, I had so much fun doing it, even though we had maybe like five people tops, it was so much fun to build with like other people. And it was just really cool to hang out with you guys while I was building. And it really fit into the thing, I, the theme I kind of wanted to do with this, which was, you know, I want to build what you guys want to see. And it was kind of cool working with you guys and when I was building and, you know, we're critiquing as we're building and I'm of course not liking what I'm building. And people are telling me to shut up and to like what I'm building and give it a day, you know, that kind of funny stuff. So it was just really, it was just a lot of fun. So I hope to see you guys at our next live stream. Uh, I don't know really how to tell you guys I'm streaming other than follow me on Twitch and also follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitch, it's Commando Santa. You can search it. And Twitter, it's at Commando Santa YT. I will pretty much give, I should be able to give at least a half an hour notice up to an hour notice that I'm streaming uh, it's gonna be so much fun so I suggest getting there next time it's gonna be great uh, we'll probably do Buffalo Valley or my other project that I'm working on and for those of you who don't know I have started another project I'm actually recreating well not really recreating but I'm making a park based off uh, Columbia from Bioshock Infinite it's pretty much a general sense it's going to be like a really cool big floating city and it's just going to be really cool. You know, there's going to be a lot of like really intricate detail and it's definitely going to allow me to grow as a builder and it's just going to be fun. And I'm excited to build that with you guys. So we'll be streaming back and forth, probably between building stuff in Buffalo Valley and building stuff in uh, my Columbia park. I'm also, I also have Twitch set up where we can do, uh, we can do VODs. So pretty much I'm going to stream probably two to three hours at a time and that's going to be able to save it and then you're going to be able to watch it uh depending what we make i might also download that chop it up and make it into another episode of something or if you guys are interested i might take the vods down and just upload them raw to to the youtube channel if you're really interested but otherwise they're going to be on twitch for you guys to watch after the fact if you've missed a stream for any reason so I am excited to see you guys in the next stream, and I look, it's gonna be great. So make sure you get there. So on to what we're doing today. Um, 
one of the things, one of the comments I wanted to point out from my last episode was by Niels Pillen. I'm going to screw up your name every time, I'm sure. I never know if I'm saying that right. I apologize. So he actually, it's really kind of funny. You know, he is not from America, but he kind of like did some research into where, around where I live, which is Buffalo, New York, hence the name Buffalo Valley for those of you that don't know. Um, and kind of not that far away, a little less than an hour, is Genesee County. In America, we have states, and in those states, there's counties. Um, and in Genesee County, there's a brewery called Genesee Brewery. And I have not been there myself, but I know of the place. And I, and the minute he said brewery, I just realized how cool, in an alpine feel, like a really almost old-style brick building, would look in this park. I know. I went away from building wooden structures, and I moved into brick. And, oh man, it was tough. Uh, I had to learn a lot while doing this, and I also was doing this while I was completely distracted. Um, I actually was watching uh, Adfo TV's stream and uh, the Mass Bandits uh, bro coaster stream while I was doing this, so there was a lot of footage chopped up, and <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, yeah, it was just really cool, and I had a lot to learn when I was doing this, because working with the bricks and getting everything to look nice was... It was a challenge, and I've just kind of found a picture on Google that I really enjoyed, and then I just kind of went for it. Um, yeah, so one of the things that I really wanted to accomplish with this was I wanted to make it look not super modern, because the modern bricks and the, like the modern nature of like newer brick buildings won't look super good with the atmosphere we're trying to obtain and I don't know it's really hard to say but like I think I got it I think I got the theme pretty well but I kind of wanted this little area over here well while I was building this I kind of had the idea of maybe having like a small little old town over here with a few little rides and a few little shops and maybe this is the time where we transition into like another theme of the park but not like something super crazy but just kind of like a newer theme so i was also so i was completely thinking like brick buildings like an old main street town which would be kind of cool in all honesty you know we have this brewery that i kind of raised up it's on the hill almost that kind of backs right up to the uh right up to the mountain here and it just looks really cool but having like a, a little main street town with a bunch of shops and kind of like a, a secondary midway, I guess. And then like almost a, a cooler, modern, not really modern, but like frontier town-ish, but with like brick building train station. So you know how much I love trains. Uh, because we need another train station over here because we're getting to the point where we're kind of far away from the entrance and kind of getting far away from the train station. And I have the track almost pretty, it's pretty close nearby here. So we should, this should be a good spot to maybe plop, plop a train station in the near future. And it'd be kind of cool, you know, like you, you roll into almost like a main street town and it's got a bunch of, you know, it's got a lot going on, a lot of shops, a lot of lights, really cool. Um, some of those really cool, like, standing lamps, and... Uh, I have a lot of ideas. Let's just say that. You, you guys know, I have a lot of, I lot of ideas, and you should know be m me by now. I'm probably going to change my mind about it, so... I change my mind for everything as I'm building it, so... Uh, oh well. We'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, so I, I just really enjoyed doing this. And one of the things that I wanted in this, uh in this build per se, in this building, is I wanted the entrance queue to go up and over the ride before you get down to enter the ride. Uh, so I kind of wanted the path to go through kind of a secondary building of sorts, kind of like, a, I don't know, like a side building. And then you come up 
in over, on like a gantry way or like a, almost like a fire escape, I guess, into like the side of the building and you have full view of the station as you're standing in the queue above it. And you can see the, you know, the train going out, coming in, the train going out, the new one coming in. And then you work your way around and then you're in the station. I just thought that was really cool. And I think in real life that would look, that'd be really cool. You know, you're standing there, you're looking over the edge and you're just kind of watching the trains and the people like loading and unloading. I don't know. I think that was a cool idea. And then you just kind of exit through the front and then, you know, that gives a really nice sight line to down the front of the coaster. And, you know, I got I want to have a lot going on around this part of the coaster because I want the coaster to be winding in between here. Because, you know, like I was talking about last episode, in the uh, in the the first part of the roller coaster, you know, it's all nice and nature and everything. And it's kind of relaxing. And then this part, it's a little bit more intense. A lot more going on, a little bit more winding. And I want you, I want the, the people to wind in and out of buildings. And I think that would be kind of cool. And on top of all of that, I have the entranceway going over where the, um, the the roller coaster track goes under it almost, and it's just really cool where it, that kind of where it goes to the side and hugs around the back of the building. And I think that would be really cool. You know, well, it is really cool. You know, you have the people kind of like walking over it. They're also next to the uh, where the 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 brake run where the where the train comes back in after it. You know after it's done with the ride and you know like if you've ever been to a theme park it's really cool when the path goes next to the brake run because you can yell back and forth at the people that are on the ride already like hey how was it oh it's great and and you know it kind of gets you really excited for it and yeah that's pretty much what i accomplished here and i think that i think i got it i think it worked really well and I am just noticing that I did fix the color now, so you guys should be able to see the color of the track. Um, yeah, so, cool. Uh, right, pretty much right around now, as long as this is queued up correctly, as per usual, I'm working on that auxiliary building. It's kind of like a side little building, which is going to house the, kind of the back and forth queue, just to get some space going. And I think it would, I think it looked kind of cool because it hid the track a little bit from like the, the basic, the main path. And that's kind of what I wanted. And it also keeps the people housed and everything. And I would expect there's windows, but you know, in Planet Coaster, we don't have windows that go through the entirety of the buildings yet. So, and you can see I said yet. I am hoping maybe one day we will have windows that you can see through. Because I think that would be amazing if we could see through windows. Because, you know, you have to pretty much place a window and then place a window on the other side. That's 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 what you have to do in order for it to actually look generally okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe they're working on it, maybe not. But, yeah. So, my kind of idea with this side uh, building was to be kind of like a smaller version of the big brewery, but maybe it was like a storage facility for this, for the brewery of, and like, I don't know, just, you know, concrete, brick walls, kind of a big open space, not a lot going on. While the main building, you know, it would have like all the, all the stuff going on, you know, it's got everything going on in there. But, you know, just kind of like a, a reason to have a little side area and a reason to have like a side building. I don't know, it turned out really good. I thought it turned out pretty cool. Um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to handle the main path yet. You know, I still have a little bit of work to do with these buildings at the end of this episode anyway, so I still there's still a little bit of work, work to do for this. So I think probably one more episode is going to be needed for finishing the roller coaster, and then we can move on to bigger and better things, which would be great. Uh... I, you know, earlier in the episode, I talked about all my ideas. I have lots of ideas and I can't wait to hear your ideas. So for sure, let me know in the comments about more ideas for the park. Um, in the live stream, we actually talked about something that I completely forget every single time I want to like build something. I'm like, oh, what should I build? And in the live stream, we brought this up. It was, what about a kitty park? You know, like 
And I remember people telling me I should make a kitty park, and I thought I had it written down, but I must not have written it down. So I think one of the next things we might be doing is a kitty park. And I think a kitty park would look really, really cool. I, I, perhaps, you know, you never know. Maybe we'll do it Santa's workshop style. I don't know. We were talking about that. Santa's workshop would be really cool, right? Uh, right? But I know other than that, I still want to do the haunted forest because uh, I've, I've I kind of want to try my hand at a dark ride. Dark rides are really cool, and I kind of want to try doing that. And, you know, we have a we have a we have an alpine theme. Like that should look like a a haunted ride should be perfect in here. A haunted forest, like come on, it's gonna be great. Uh, I can even do it over here in like the main street, like an abandoned house or like an old mansion up on the hill, something like that. That'd be really really cool. And now I'm thinking about it, and I really want to go do it, but, you know, I have to finish the roller coaster. I can't, you know, I can't move on with other things yet, but, yeah. Other than that, I think that's going to be pretty much it for what I worked on today. The rest of this episode is just going to be some basic detailing. We're pretty much copying what the other building looks like, just at a smaller scale. Um, I think it turned out great. You know, there's not really much left to do other than what I talked about, you know, finishing up the ride. I got to play around with the paths a little bit more, and then I have to figure out what I want to do with, like, the path coming in. So we have some work, and I think I might help you, I might have you guys help me figure that out, either in the comments below or in a live stream. I'm really pushing that live stream because it was so much fun um, other than that. Uh... Another little bit of news tidbit, a uh, big shout out to the people at Shy Guys World. It's a, for those of you that don't know, it's a really cool forum. I suggest joining it. If you love Planet Coaster or you were a Roller Coaster Tycoon fan like I was, uh, this forum is just dedicated to all that. And there's a lot of great people here and it's a little bit more active and a little bit more fun than the Planet Coaster forums. Um... I finally posted Buffalo Valley there, and so far it's getting some great hits, some great reviews. So big shout out to those guys. You guys are so welcoming, and I really appreciate all the kind words all, everyone said. And even my viewers, I freaking love you guys. You guys are great. So yeah, other than that, um, I'm pretty much going to wrap this video up here. So thank you again, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Uh, I'm put videos out every week of planet coaster related things and i am thinking about branching into city skylines but probably not now that i brought on the other project we'll see maybe i'll live stream city skylines that could be cool um definitely hit that like button if you liked what i did it really lets me know that i'm doing good things and it really helps grow my channel when you hit the like button so make sure to do that make sure to follow me on twitter at command of santa yt and i'll see you guys in the next episode